Okay, what is up everybody? Um, this is the official opening show um, for the Green Circle and I am joined by a very, very, very special guest. Uh, my first guest for this um, series is none other than the... <laughs> Look at him acting all right. Um, so please tell us um, for people who are looking for you, um, how can they find you? What are your socials? Guys, I'm usually every you can't say you don't know me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> at Banelicious, literally everywhere, and then on YouTube, I'm just Banelicious. Cool. So we won't um, waste any time. I'm um, gonna get into the first segment. The first segment is called 30 seconds. Well, 30 seconds is a really cool game where I get to ask you 10 questions about yourself. Now, the trick is that you have to answer all these questions in 30 seconds. And if you don't, you will have to take a shot of something that is absolutely not good. And let me tell you, the shots that I have are not cute. They are not nice. They do not taste nice at all. Things okay, are ready. Um, we're going to need to have 30 seconds. Okay, timer. <laughs> 30 nah, seconds. you better be fast. <laughs> okay. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds on the clock. Um, are you ready? Yeah. 3, 2, 1. What are your full names? My name is Signature. How many followers do you have on TikTok and Instagram respectively? 164,000 followers on TikTok and then on Instagram I have 13,000. Okay, <laughs> what is your birthday? Uh, 12th August. What is your favorite color? Uh, blue. Who is your celebrity crush? Recently, Tawang. Okay. <laughs> and what is the last song you listened to? Last song I listened to? Yes. Oh, I see what you by a Rega or something. Yeah. How many siblings do you have? I have three. Okay, what well, time is up? <laughs> um, and you have four questions that you did not oh, answer. But I, I tried being fast. You tried, but it didn't work, clearly. We've got those beautiful babies over here. I think you're not drinking these thick ones. Um, that seizes you, better. You're drinking the first four, so... Either way, there's um, a... a... I, I want you guys to see... Let's see your action. One. Vanilla essence, um, concentrate oros. When you and salt, and sugar. <laughs> so you can cook shit. Okay, two shots to go. That's my favorite. <laughs> 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 Who's that? <laughs> okay. Last one, last one. Well done. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna insert that clapping hands thing. <laughs> um, and basically, Banile and I are just gonna be having a conversation about his life, um, and you know, engaging on some serious chats, personal, deep, all of that. So what I wanna know is, where did you grow up? Uh, in Alex. That's where I was born. So that's where I grew up. And so, how how was it growing up? Um. I wouldn't say it was it was nice. However, uh, my mom tried by all means to just like make sure that like we live like any other kids. Yeah, well, like every time she would just try to fill in the void, le nam. Because um when I grew up um up until I was five, my mom and my dad had to break up, and then uh, I stayed with my mother, and my dad had to go back home because also he lost his job and stuff and stuff and stuff. So um, when I grew up, obviously there was that thing with um, I don't have my dad next to me, and also him not being um, the type of dad that like is there for you, that will yeah. like support you financially and everything. But like I never felt like that way because of how my mother used to like make sure Wuti like everything that I need, I do have it. So yeah, it wasn't really nice, but like also it wasn't so bad because of how my mother made sure Wuti is not really bad for us yeah. it's crazy actually how you know in south africa especially like kids just don't know who their dads are and mm. it's just like mm. and reality. now it's getting normal like it's like i hate, I hate it i hate it because like yeah. why must it be normal that you know we don't grow up with like both parents like that's fucking weird what is your unanswerable question so a question that you seem to be asking yourself but you don't really like have the answer to 
Mm. You know, sometimes I wonder what he mean and why I'm to other people, and like I wish I knew for sure. Okay. So because, how, you know sometimes like how uh, your relationships go like maybe you don't last them a relationship in or maybe like good friendships like it, it's just a problem so you just kind of like ask yourself what he um in my, my characters that are in now and then my characters that are in now as a person it's just that sometimes there's things that happen and then you just ask yourself what he like am I a horrible person or like am I a good person so you just want to know but like, like I mean, now with my friends, like relationships are good. I think I'm a good friend than a boyfriend. I mean, I'm good to have as a I'm friend, friend and, and not a boyfriend. Yeah. And why is that? I think because like I went through so many things, so so so, so like, many things. I don't care you. anymore. In terms of love. Yeah, in terms of relationships, like I don't really care anymore. Like oh, when I get into a relationship and it's just. Like I'm just that person. Like I don't, I don't care. So you, you mean to tell me? I mean Valentine's is coming along, and mm. you don't even have a date. I'm not even bothered. I'm full of I need to pray for you guys, um, because I'm vanu with people who don't, you know, recognize that Valentine's is the time of love, and you should. Be I'm spending. so used to being alone, with him. I don't wanna. Lie. I actually don't like having friends. I don't like making friends. I don't know. But I mean, don't people like want to make friends with you? They do, but like also some of them, I do tell them, what I don't, I don't really like having friends that way. <laughs> I don't trust friends. That's the thing. Number one, I don't trust friends. Um, also, another thing is that when I grew up, I grew up and then um, there was a lot of Asekaya, my, my cousins, Baba Fana. So we grew up all together. So we played together. We did everything together. So I never felt the need the of time. having a friend. Yeah, okay. well, yeah and like we always believed it was like uh, we must not let Abangan to come between us, Abangan back Abanisan and stuff like that. So yeah, I only started working on it last year when I got to university. You know university Abangan by the Galula, you get into your past, you meet someone. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I started last year to like I know, let me just push myself to have like a few friends. So I have about like four or five, yeah. So you were speaking about trust and it's crazy how the next question is actually asking about that. It's asking, who do you trust the most and why? Who do I trust the most? Let me see. You mean to tell me you don't have anyone in your life that you trust the most? Yeah. That's wild. The person that I'm talking to currently is someone that I trust the most. <laughs> Wait, talking to as in you're trying to build a relationship. Yeah. Something like that. And you trust that person the most? Yeah. How long have you guys been talking? No, we've been talking. It's been close to two years now. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Hmm. That's the thing. Don't laugh. No, it's crazy. I feel like it's very I feel like I trust you more than I, I trust... Um... Yeah, like I'm, 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 like I'm not into long term thing. I'm telling because people have disappointed me a lot. Yeah. So like I don't have that thing of which like in term of month to an extent of which, which maybe I don't even have. I don't have that thing of which in term of that's why I'm always ready even like for friendships to end. I'm always ready for relationships to end. Like into my ends, like I'm like okay. Don't fine, you think that's a problem though? It's not because now. You you are ready for anything and like you don't have like ama high expectations with anyone. So you spoke about um These questions are, are built so beautifully and they're coming along so beautifully. Cause um you spoke about betrayal and you know being betrayed by some people that you trusted. This one is asking that um describe a time where you were betrayed by someone you trusted. Um, what happened? Let me see. Mele, this card that I'm putting to you. Um, so yeah, okay. relationship wise, it's not like you're gonna say it. Like, if it's real, yeah, it's like when someone is cheating on you, 
So they cheated on you? Yeah, they cheated on me and it was that thing you would see like Gala. I never even imagined which moon do I cheat. That's why now I have this thing you Whatever you feel about someone, if you feel like they love you, it's not that they really love you. It's what you feel when you feel like that because of then the when you feel like I'm more bigger. But like it doesn't mean you see, like they really love you. Like it, I can just give you a drink now and then you be like, yo, and I'm just giving you a drink and doing a show with you, we have time and stuff like that. So yeah, like he, he, he like cheated on me and um. Like I bring a suit to be new match in which hang ayenda. Really, explain. So like this why I'm just saying like expect to okay. So this one is asking, what are you most grateful for, and why is that? What I'm most grateful for, it's the work that I'm doing. What? Yeah, it's the type of work that I'm doing because um. I mean, like you're involved in like a lot of spaces. Do you mean like um work is in like your career, your academics, or work that includes like social media? The work that includes social media. So um, I wanted to to get into this thing about like two years ago, yeah, mm-hmm. and then like I had so much, yeah, but the courage level was like I want to leave like these people. So I I I'd watch a lot of YouTubers and stuff like that. So now that I'm finally here and I get to see the all the things that I wanted, I'm sure there's there's my advantages are corner. There's also the disadvantages. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so now that I'm finally experiencing all the advantages of living like this, like I'm really loving it. So like I'm really grateful and like I always put God to it. Like That's cool. even if like I want to grow maybe like to a thousand subscribers, to a thousand plus subscribers, I'd be like, Oh God, you know, this YouTube channel, it's yours, it's for you and me. So <laughs> please, Jay, don't disappoint me. So I feel like everything that has come my way and like all the collaborations that I've get, uh, I've gotten like they genuinely come from god um so. could you describe like your journey like on social media like when did you start and how were you like when you started mm. i'm not mistaken i started in 2021 but like i've always had uh social media but in 2021 that's where i told myself Uti, you know what um now i'm starting to take it serious yeah bo? Now I'm starting to take it serious. I want to grow. I want to uh, have a YouTube channel. I want to earn money from YouTube, stuff like that. So yeah, I started last uh, 2021. And that's where like uh, my, okay, firstly it was just my TikTok. Mm-hmm. And my TikTok was like, yeah, getting good numbers, good numbers, good numbers. But like, I also wanted to focus on Instagram, content on Instagram and then on YouTube. Yo, like when you start like, yeah, it's, it's very depressing because you want to reach that level because you just don't get what why is it taking so long and like you come across uh easy into that as in the ma for you to like take like uh and go to the maybe you go 100 subscribers for this country yeah for this country the all like you post a video and then only three people watch it <laughs> but like you will go through all the editing shit yo guys it's depressing and then also i think one of the biggest thing also that i suffered with is um um wanting to fit in you see there's uh, uh also other people that are doing this thing i'm a content creator so i also wanted to be like um maybe be in the same spaces with them and then maybe if i'm not considered like i would feel very bad about it yeah, yeah. it's okay so many you guys don't recognize me as uh, this person why am i not there if you guys are there yeah, well, i also suffered with that a lot i don't want to lie because it's like we are doing the same thing why it's not much in this valley like you guys are meeting a, 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 a oh, it's crazy i think i remember you you once posted a video mm-hmm. with the, um there was like a tiktokers like meetup i think during like COVID, mm-hmm. those times and you were like why are you not doing as easy yeah like i also struggle with that because it's like I'm trying to do with tea. I don't know, but like I felt like I'm about to buy Tatila Panty. We will end up like people, but Tatila Panty. So, but now I'm talking about bag. I'm talking okay when you qualify to sit with us, yeah. or when you don't qualify to sit with us because of the certain number of followers that you have. Yeah, but yeah, so like I also struggled with that a lot. And yeah, but like I I, I went through that in my school. Would you say that um in these social media circles, like um numbers are really like important in terms of like. Who you get to make friends with who you get to make relationships with like you were saying your mom you know 
if you are like maybe somebody with like 15k followers mm. somebody with like 100k followers do they treat you like differently um and how do you navigate that yo i mean what i will tell you is that um in number of my followers it doesn't matter when it comes to relationship like for me if you're a shitty person you're a shitty person no one of my followers i 50 million <laughs> and phone was if you're a shitty person you're a shitty person and i won't fuck with you for that yeah? mm-hmm. but with the people that are in this industry but now it's like they want to also use you there's something that they want to gain from you because so you're having a lot of followers they want to be friends with you because they know what you guys can swap followers and then if we take each other's stories uh you can have my followers i can have yours and then i add again i realized that by that's why they never settle for like um being friends with people about my followers also there's another perception that you know as a content creator you are this rich person you have money you know you get invited to mm. these big coca-cola events were you too black um things like that people always expect you to have money like how do you how do you navigate that yeah also keeping like, like your life um real and as authentic as possible but still living that life i mean like what i always tell people like because yeah but like i always try to be very open if i'm broke i'm broke laughing but i don't have money and stuff and stuff and stuff maybe you might see me doing vlogs um and then maybe i'm eating nice food for this was cut less so mm-hmm. and that's it and that's it and that's it just remember what i'm making a vlog so i'm trying by all means to shoot something that is going to be pleasing ms when you are so the sad part in life yeah me love on color corner like on broke corner i won't shoot that obviously because now you won't be impressed you know yeah so obviously if you shoot that isn't or isn't it it doesn't mean you go to your life here to eat and also so this card it's just that like lama moments lama mass in blue needs you will also shoot time that's great what makes you feel supported so if someone is like trying to show you support what can they do to make you feel like oh this person really has my back um i think this uh, i always say um if you want to really support me just take time to really know what you what is it any time that you go in the interest that a interesting life in yami any entire any time that you know fun we get it about like things like my social media like if you talk with me or style and then we have a conversation and then you realize what i'm someone that likes in the um the content creation industry i like being there i like growing as a person now so as long as you support you support me in that then now we oh man if you could have three wishes but none of them are for yourself what would you wish for so we should have one guess guess if they're not for me anyone or anything for that matter firstly the low shading to end the low shading to end yo okay and then that we all have peace within our hearts yo guys like i couldn't have some job fell on a party but then from the outside you right and you're just living life but then a party you are dying so like yo if song is not here yeah then that would be nice and then another wish i was going to say uh for us to have money but no leo yummy one lay for me now i can't wish for everyone to see the man song lay for me now why hmm? i think that's what i'd wish for for everyone to have money no why and then obviously they want to lay on this end like i'm clubbing because if no, you no, no, but like money, this is a wish a wish is, a, is abstract like you can wish for anything and it, it could happen then you show now imagine if everyone has money who's then, going to clean the streets who's going to allow to drive other people to some that's um, that's the thing from one i don't think another. i don't think having money influences like like those those people who are passionate about cleaning streets who no. just like, yes <laughs> Only man you okay. Yeah. Mm-mm. Cause like you, do you think you do um content creation if you had money, all the money in the world? If I had all the money in the world, yeah. I wouldn't do it. 
I care. I wouldn't do it. Yes, I like it so much, but um, just how I've seen Uti, it's it literally exposes your life to other people, ne? And then people start now feeling like um entitled. Yeah, they have their they're entitled to your life and then but bozo. Like you can literally just post a simple meal, you post the Uti uh, you cooked today, and then someone comes and comments would say, ah, you shouldn't cook like this. Stuff like that. So like, nah, I don't like that. How do you deal with that? Yo, honestly, you just need to take a deep breath, challenge before, and then maybe I will avoid the Like the comments that are like that mm. and stuff. <clears throat> and I mean, sometimes like I'll even show you, would see, I did view the message and I found that, and then he has to learn. Because what do you want me to say? If you're going to come to East Tommy Sam and then you comment things like that, Yo. What is the one thing that you do that your friends wish you didn't do? One thing that I do, wish my friends wish I didn't do. Mm -hmm. Sure. How much? I think I have that one ex that like I keep on getting back to. Yabo. Is it the one you are talking to now? Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> I get so annoyed when people go back to exes. Yeah, because why? You broke, you broke up with this person. Why are you going back to them? I boom. Because you feel like you don't realize it's no man. Being wrong. No time. Yes, fine. Okay, this is going to be the last question, and um, it's saying that um, if you were looking at eight-year-old Panele, um, what would you say to him? Um, can be eight years old. <laughs> um, I would say it's okay, you know, it's okay not to be okay, and it's okay for you to be the person that you are. There's no shame in you being the person that you are, and you don't have to hide it. Um, there's no shame in being the person that you are when I'm a up because. Um, you being you makes you unique and makes you uh, different from other people. So you don't always have to be like the rest of them. So you can be yourself. It's it's fine. Like what like, you see now, what's it good? <laughs> That's cool. That's really cool. Um, but I'm, I'm just gonna add another question then because you said something very interesting. Um, what does it mean to you um, when somebody says that be yourself? Um, when someone says to me, be myself, I must be myself. Um, to me, it means that um, I must not be afraid of expressing myself to the fullest, um, not caring what to own me. The same me being gay like this. Well, there's people who did not know and they only knew later on and they were already following me on Instagram. So me being myself is me not being able, uh, is me uh, being able to think me about my gay stuff and the boy that I like or the boy that I'm dating, I can even post them without fearing what things will lose away as a follower. It's actually being yourself without losing, without um, having the fear of losing people. So if we could just be like ourselves without having a fear of which, okay, if I'm being myself, I might lose friends and family, uh, no. Chair, and this is the green circle. Welcome to the Spelling Champion. Me and my esteemed guest will be going head to head trying to spell five words. The winner of this game will then be crowned on the loser's Instagram story with whatever caption they desire. And the story has to stay up for 24 hours. Let's get to it. Guys, I mean, just to put it out there, I, I dropped my English module, so... <laughs> I dropped my English module, so um, don't stress me. Okay, I think you can go first. Give me your first word. Um, authorized. Authorized. Okay, authorized. A, U, the British or the American version? The um, British. Okay. A, U, T, H, O, R, I, S, B, D. Authorized. Word um, is routine. What routine? My routine. R O N E T I N E. Okay. One question, Vanilla. Unintentionally. You are uh, why unintentionally? U N I N T E 
N T I O N unintentionally A double R Y. That was such a strange. <laughs> um, second word is uh, central. I've never heard of that word. I'm not gonna go. It kinda won't see on the S. S. Okay, S. Okay. E. Okay. N. Okay. T. Okay. U. Okay. Central. A L. You, sir, are incorrect. Ah! So, uh, he's already <coughs> using. Okay, give me um. It's S E N. S U A L. Oh, my God! I'm so scared. This is the third word. Okay, recommendations. Recommendations. R E C O M. I feel it's double M. Yeah, double M. Uh, e N D A T I. O-N-S Yes, that's great Your third word is accommodation Hmm Also, we are kind of if you don't know how to spell this Wapangkali A C Okay, that was C O Is it that was M? Or one M? I'm feeling fine Okay, M O D A and then T I O N. You sir, I agree. Ah, you got done. It's double M. Really? It's double M. Ah! I'm stressed. I am scared for my life. Why? Why? It's time to play this fucked up man. Imagination. Imagination. I am A G I M A T I O N. Imagination. Uh, at this point, at this um, fourth word is obvious. What? Obvious. O B B I O U S. That is correct. That is correct. Um, fifth word and last word. I mean, at this point, you already lost, but yeah. Yeah. This what you need. Um, and so cool. Um, you get to take a, a, a beautiful selfie of me and you post it. <laughs> Why do you paragraph longer? From this guy. He is the best nah. thing to ever exist. Hey. He's even better than my boyfriend. Nah. Nah. Better than my Hey. Ah, so anyway guys um thank you so much for tuning in on this episode of the green circle it's the very first um please leave a comment below with your name so that we mark the register and see who actually watched this video otherwise this is me and by nele it was great um you know spending some time with you guys catch you on the next one peace Bye. Don't need to change anything. I feel myself all the time. I know myself all the time. You make me feel so.